Nigeria revolution is inevitable. This is coming from Dele Farotimi. And of course, uh, Omoleye Soore is also voicing out that revolution now, revolution now. Is it to distract the people? Or is it committed to such? So with these two uh, personalities, what can you say about their positions and, of course, tenacity in this regard? Thank you. Um, you see, um, let me tell you about the comrade called Comrade Omar Yele Showere. This is a man who has a very close tie with Mazin Namdekanu. He is a man who believes in the cause of uh, self-determination. There is no need of you holding on to people when they have a strong will to move on and define their own fate. As of 2019, 2020, when Showere met with um, Mazin Amdekanu, shortly before his incarceration, you know, they had a lengthy discussion. And Showere said it himself that, well, Namdekanu shouldn't have run away from Nigeria because he believes if Nigeria wants to get him arrested, they will surely get him arrested. And then, unfortunately, that happened. But you will see that in the recent time, the only man who had gone to visit Mazin Namdekanu all through his ordeals and still fight the comment of the day is Omar Yale Showere. Omar Yale Showere now is being demonized. In fact, he's been called an enemy of states. He has been placed on a list of people who are called, you know, uh, they call them insubordinate, they call them unruly, they call them treasons. That's what they are calling Omar Yale Showere because he is a man that believes in what? Revolution. So the idea that Omar Yale Showere could be a pretender, I don't agree. But when you're talking of Dele Faro to me, yes, you might be right. Because you will see that Dele Faro to me did not support a man who believes in a revolutionary Nigeria. Dele Faro to me supported a Peter Obi who doesn't support the what? The total the dissemination of this corrupt contraption called Nigeria entity. Amon Yelesho Ware is a man who believes that if he becomes a president, he will call everybody what should we move on with. Should we go back to our regional? He said he will reintroduce the referendum. He said, look at the look at the look at the demands that he had in the August protest. Mazim Inam Bikan was part of the request. You know, but again, some evils are like we will not join because we do not trust Amoya Leshoware. So Amoya Leshoware finds himself in a dilemma whereby people tend to doubt his sincerity and his genuity. And I don't blame them because there are too many people who come from his ethnicity who have betrayed other people for their own selfish interests, which is understandable. But my take is this, for a, rev for a revolution to happen, the spirits of Mazim Nandikani, the spirit of Omoye Le Showere must be imbibed by all women, meaning Nigerians and the Igbos. Would you take it serious uh, under the watch of Ahmed Bala Tinubu, a Yoruba man? Or could it be a way of distracting the people while uh, the president goes on? Because if he really an enemy to Nigeria, they wouldn't have treated him with a kiss glove. You know, the way they release him, and Mazin Nandikan is still under detention. That would mean, of course, uh, there's something going on perhaps that the masses needed to know. Well, if we must be sincere with ourselves, uh, Mazin Chigose, we must understand that they are all operating on different frequencies and, wave and wavelengths. Mazin Nandikan operated for a frequency and wavelength that was way higher than Shore. Mazin Nandikan actually commission security outfits. Mazin Kanu had the control and command of a total region. Omoye Shalere does not have that, doesn't command that. Okay? Omoye Shalere has not called for the total disenfranchise or the, he, he has only called for Nigeria to be revolutionized. The Nigerian leaders, all of them should be swept away. Okay? So to some extent, you cannot place them on the same pedestal, like they are operating on the still No. Yes, on the long run, you might say they are all seeking for a better country. 
All right? Show sure, already might not necessarily seeking for a Yoruba nation. But show sure, already does not deny the agitation of others. Okay, so I don't want to talk, I don't want to go into that. But the question is, why is Shawaree still free? Shawaree is not free. Let me tell you. As it were today, Shawaree is being watched. Any moment, Shawaree will be arrested. And I can tell you before 2027, Shawaree will be incarcerated. And this is what he knows by himself. Because Shawaree has not stopped. Shawaree has not stopped calling Tinubu out. And now the consciousness of the Nigerian people and even some Biafrans are beginning to have a clear view like okay probably this guy is not the evil we think he is and again Tinubu is trying to play smart like okay I'll let me wait for the right time to incarcerate this guy you get my point so the issue is this does a Nigerian need a revolution absolutely yes who are the people that are supposed to charge for that revolution Igbos, Yorubas, Aousas, Fulanese that are what? That are well educated. Not the illiterates. Not the alimajiris. Not the destitute that the northern leaders. The only thing they have given to them as a legacy is the Quran. No, no. Those cannot lead a revolution. Because if those people lead a revolution, what we will fall into will be total Islamization and jihadism. No, that is not what we want. We want senior people like a person like Chowere, Simon Epa, uh, Sunday, but oh, these are people who are educated in their own way and they are not religious fanatics. You know, I mean, but this current president needs an higher hand. And sometimes I don't blame the Prime Minister of Biafra when he does his things. Because what they are seeking for is simple negotiation. The agitation in Igbo land will end in 12 hours if they are ready to negotiate with the Prime Minister, Mazin and the and the likes. And this country, the people will be happier, they will be more inventive, they will be able to fulfill their potentials. But you see, these people are what? They are vultures. They are cannibalizing on our potentials. They are stealing our future. And this is the need I am supporting Shawaree because I believe that for Nigeria to move forward, whether we are as a federation or a confederation, Nigeria must go through that revolution. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, well, only times, of course, uh, will tell how far that can go. Uh, but according to your submissions and, of course, uh, the generality of Nigerians, uh, revolution is inevitable because humanity is at the verge of total collapse. Thank you once again for being part of this discussion. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.